Howdy, this is John talking about PC fans. You gotta keep your PC cool to keep the performance up and make it last longer. The two main air cooling systems used in PCs are high pressure versus low pressure fans and positive versus negative airflow inside the case. And really, even water cooling is air cooling because it's the fans that push the air through the fins and let the liquid cool down because of that, that heat getting pulled away. High pressure fans are the type you're going to want to use in case with cooling towers, radiators, and fin stacks. They're designed to be placed right up to them. They, they tend to have blades that can grab a fistful of air and mash it into and through the resistance of a bunch of fins. Often they'll also have closed corners so that there's less air taking the easier route around the unblocked corners. Whatever type of fan you choose, it's important to remember that air needs to be able to flow freely through the system to cool the system effectively. This means ensuring your PC has adequate airflow through its filters and vents, and you gotta clean up any dust buildup there will occur over time, and you ought to have fine mesh filters that you clean regularly. It's the air flowing past the hot components being pushed or pulled out of the case to make way for more fresh and cool outside air that carries away the heat. You need air getting in. That's airflow. If you're getting more airflow being pushed into the case than fans pulling it out, you likely have a positive pressure inside the case. This helps reduce dust inside because you continually have filtered air from inside the case being pushed out of the seams and other places that don't have filters. If you've got negative pressure inside the case, dust might get drawn in through those unfiltered spaces. Now, all of this assumes that all of your intake fans are filtered. And I recommend high quality fine mesh filters that you clean often enough to keep them from clogging up. If they clog up, your air intake is reduced. In the case that might have had positive pressure a year ago might now have a negative pressure. Consider the back of the case also. The more powerful your GPU and the harder you have the fans revolved, the more likely you are to pull unfiltered air in through the back of the case. I put a small magnetic filter on the back when I used the incense test and realized that 3090 was sucking in a lot of air from outside. This points out the logic of having fans on the bottom of the case pushing air up feeding that hungry GPU. If your case does not have high quality filters, you can buy them easily online for a decent enough price. Good quality filters are worth having because dust is the number one issue that can change the mechanics of your fans and coolers. My Be Quiet case has filters on the front and the bottom, but I was so impressed by the Fractal Torrance fine mesh filters that I put some finer filters behind the Be Quiet stock filters. It's amazing how much of the super fine dust they catch that gets through the initial filters. I put some filters on the top also because the case is designed to expel air up and out like most mid towers and big towers. But I chose to push the air down from above and get into nooks and crannies of the heat sinks and coolers around the VRMs, cooling the RAM off, everything like that. Larger fans can move more air at a lower speed, so install 140 millimeter fans where you have a choice. They can move slower and keep the PC cool, and they make less noise. Fan quality matters also, and the technology of fans is continually being improved, both in terms of airflow, static pressure, and noise performance. There are a few well-known top-of-the-line fan manufacturers. I'm a Be Quiet fanboy myself, but Noctua, Fantex, and Arctic are also among the best, and none of them are losers in any aspect of fan performance. A high quality fan like that could cost a bit though, but think of the amortization effect when you're considering the longevity of these particular brands. You are likely to have a fan like that run for five years or more. 
just keep hair from getting wrapped around it. A long life is pretty much assured. Yeah, we know that air tends to rise when it is warm. But if you've got a high airflow PC case, it should really be getting pushed out by the rush of incoming air if the machine is running, emitting a lot of heat and you got your fans on. I mean, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't have time to rise, really. It should be out of there. So the idea that air comes in at the front and out the top and back is not necessarily valid in all cases. I mean, I like to have my two fans at the bottom of the case, two at the front and three at the top, all filtered and blowing in. I have only one exhaust fan, a lonely 140 millimeter that expels the exhaust air from the CPU cooler. Those fans at the top pushing cool air down or blowing cool air onto the VRMs at the top of the motherboard. Those heat sinks are releasing heat that then gets pulled and pushed out by the exhaust fan in a continual rush of incoming air keeping everything running nice and cool. Fractal Torrent has among the best airflow there is and those two giant fans at the bottom help keep the GPU cool. Basically, it comes down to air in, air out. And the hotter the components get, the more air in and air out you need. And all of it should be filtered through relatively clean, fine mesh filters. Use a good fan control app like Fan Control so that you can regulate the fans easily without having to get into the BIOS. I do different things all the time. I like to change the fans at a whim. I can also set whatever I want to run at a steady speed or come on in response to temperatures of components in the PC. I'll put fan controls link below. You can use it on two computers for free, but send them some love for the great app they give us. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you around now. Bye.